And lastly, once you're done working with the system, you'll be able to go to the In Session tab. And from this tab, you'll be able to manage your reports. If you wanted to copy them to your FTP server, again, you can't copy them to dCloud. You have to have it configured to use an FTP server. If you wanted to copy your reports to your D7 folder, you can select that option as well. If you wanted to delete your local reports directory, you can do that. And if you have the uh, reports shortcut set up, normally you don't want to do this on a system where you have that defined to be created at the end of the session. You can also go ahead and select to email the reports out and have them zipped if you need to when you email them and to select which person they get emailed to you can set that up here and that is pulling from the address book that we configured under the email settings you can also uh, enter in something directly if you wanted to you do want to make sure it's going to be a valid email address if you need to carbon copy it to someone else as, all, as well as to find the person that it was sent from you do have the option to edit your email subject and body here. This is only going to accept plain text and variables. The other option you have is if you wanted to make the body the custom work report, it'll pull from the reports tab or custom work report and make that the body of the email that gets sent out with the reports that are included. Uh, good thing to note here that you can use the work report or info report and if you wanted to customize this section you can remove everything in here and there are templates for these as well the templates here you'll be able to insert this template and once you click on it it'll go ahead and insert it and you can customize it if needed and that'll be able to send it out. If you want to use this section down here though, you do want to make sure you uncheck that make body uh, one of the reports so that it will actually use this body section down here. Again, those templates are going to be found in our D72 config and templates folder. That'll be the email templates and the snippet templates is those custom work report templates. Next, if you wanted to go ahead and uh, upload your config, so if you made any changes to your configuration during your session here, those can be uploaded and uh, replaced on the FTP or dCloud server. Also, if you wanted to merge your definition files to the dCloud or FTP server, you can do that as well. Then the definition files, just so you know, are going to be stored under module and defs in your D72 folder. So you'll be able to review those text files if you need to as well. These ones that you see here are the ones that are included with the D72 additional downloads for DMZ. Next you have your Windows modifications. You can disable the auto login, which this is automatically going to be selected if you enabled it using the D72 function. Also if you uh, have the WSUS server settings inserted, it'll have this removable as well. And lastly, you have your options on how you want to close out the app. If you wanted to close and password protect the app, it would leave the app in the folder location but add a password to it. This is useful if you know you're going to be coming back to a system and it's one that you maintain constantly. You can leave it there but not have a user be able to access it password it protects it with is going to be your technician password. You can also have it close and delete the app and all tools. This is especially useful if you're using the SFX mini option and running a system remotely. Once you're done and in the session, it'll go ahead and remove that and everything from the system for you. You can also have it open that pre-configured URL that we defined in the uh, configurations and Again, that was useful if you're using the FSX Mini and working remotely or just working remotely on a system and you're finished with it. It'll open up that URL and let the user know that they can get back to their work or that you're done with the system and other various items that you configure on that page you have set there. 
if you needed to save these settings, this is going to save everything that's on this page here. And finally, if you needed to end the session, again, you do want to make sure you don't end the session until you're completely done working on the system, and that'll run all of these options and basically have you create a new session next time you start the system. You don't have to come to this in session tab if you need to end a session. If you know everything on here is configured as you need it, you'll just go to the X button and you have the option to end the session here. Again, if you're going to come back into D7, normally you're going to want to just shut it down and if you're still working on the system, most always you'll want to shut it down and not end the session until you're completely done.